Before the video gets started, I do want to give you a heads up that of course this was recorded before social distancing was put into place, which means that of course you should stay at home like I am, or stay in the office by myself like I am. But I do want to give a huge thank you to Micro Center for still allowing us to share with you guys this latest version of Broke vs. Pro. So enjoy. Hello and welcome to Broke vs. Pro Gaming. Last time, Ken may have gotten the jump on me. However, I'm flipping the tables this time with the good help of our friends over at Micro Center who are sponsoring this video. You did not. Yes. No. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. You have a $300 setup. That's all the money you get. 300? I get, yeah, 300. So the cool part about this episode is that I get to do whatever I want. So unlike last time where I had to like build my PC out of like $10, I could go straight to like, I don't know, what do we have here, Ryzen 9? But like, yeah, sure, Ryzen 9, let's do it. Oh, Threadripper? Why not? But you know what? To keep things fair, okay. I'm going to really embody the spirit of Broke versus Pro. And if I'm pro, I'm not building my own PC. <laughs> what? That's for losers who builds their own PC. I'm just gonna buy one. I mean, you you bought I have, all your things. Yeah. You can have fun building your $300 PC or whatever you're gonna do. I don't really care. I'm gonna go and just pick a pre-built. No big deal. Okay, okay. Yeah, you know. By the way, that's our sound guy, Rich. Hi, Rich. <laughs> Rich, you're in the shot again. Uh, no, you're ru- <laughs> 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 don't, 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 what, what the hell, Austin? Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone just started scrambling, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> Cut. Hey, Cody. Okay, I need some help. Yeah. So, we're doing Pro vs. Broke again. Okay. Ken has finally been dethroned. Okay. All right. I get the unlimited cool budget, so can you okay. help me find a cool desktop? Yeah, no, for sure. I'm not building got, today. plenty of, like, Dells, we have plenty of power specs. Okay. Oh, what's this? Oh, wait, this is what we... Ken got this for the first episode, right? Uh, he got the Lee and Lee variant. The Lee and Lee one. This is almost, like, too cool. Like, I feel bad. Uh, unlike you, who goes, like, completely overkill, I feel like if I did something like this, that's not fair. Because you don't even know what the rest of my setup is. I've already talked with the Micro Center guys. I'm already... This is all planned out. I know exactly what wait, I'm Wait, you scripted the video? No. I know the other things. I've got, I've got a secret. Do you script the video? I have a secret weapon on the other side of the store, but I need my PC first. I didn't okay. script the video. <laughs> okay. If I scripted the video, it would be much better than this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, I kind of like the gray. This one? Yes. Yeah. Strix Geo 10DH. $13.99, Kent. Look at how reasonable that is. Windows 10 Pro for all your professional oh, needs. Pro? Windows have pro. I'm a pro. I need... A, Absolutely. Wait, hey, actually, let me see what's inside. Okay, I can't open it. Do we have a screwdriver? Can I can get a screwdriver. Can right I open a? Service department. Is, that, is that kind of bothering you if I open up a system that's sitting right here? I don't have. I mean, a well, here, it, I, but I just work here. I'll just. <laughs> <laughs> so this, this is my secret weapon. This? Behold, no, not the, not the arcade. Come. Ta-da! Ah. Yeah. So I picked F1 for a reason, because this is a full simulator setup. So this is by Next Level Racing, and I've actually wanted one of these for a while. So this is the full seat, we have the pedals, we have the triple monitor setup. I'm just gonna, you know, I don't need that anymore. I'm gonna show you how it's done. See? Mm. I knew what I was doing when I came here today. Mm, I don't like this. Okay, my pedals are a little loose. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> no, 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 you go away. This is mine. Let me have my happy moment, Ken. We in there, boys! Woo! I hate no. to admit it, but that it's looks pretty, pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Okay, well, that was... <laughs> slight miscalculation uh, there. Well, thank God this isn't a real game or Austin would be dead. I'm just... Yes! I'm just gonna... Dude, I'm so happy right now. <laughs> oh no, my controller's connected! What'd you do? What did you do? Why did it disconnect? I get the point. So what's the plan? I don't know. Everything's Wait, look, out of my look, price range. Look, Core i9 seems like totally the spot to oh, start. I mean, it's not a good sign when Windows 10 is already like more than a third of my budget. <laughs> I will what? say you are kind of right. 50 look, bucks for an Apple. 3000 Yeah. We just did a video on this. It's totally it. fine. What are the prices looking for like motherboards? I'll go all the way down. Keep going. All, all these, the way? These are two nice for you. Keep okay. going. <laughs> okay, go, go. Keep going. Okay, go. okay, okay. You really need like an A320. Here, here, A320, right here. I'll right, take well, pity on you and help. Okay. That's what you need. How much is that? Forty-three dollars. See, okay, so you're at like ninety-ish dollars right now. You can do this. I believe in you. Wait, but I so wait for three hundred dollars. I also need to get a monitor and yes. Okay. Yes. Motherboard costs like forty. 
processor would cost like 50. A drive for it would cost like 20. Case, like, probably like 40 Well, bucks. I don't, I, realistically at this point, I don't even think I can use a case. Well, mm -hmm. what are you gonna do? Mm -hmm. An Xbox again or something? Maybe a laptop? A $300 laptop. Okay, sure. What options do I have, Mr. I got sponsored by Micro Center and giving Ken scraps? Oh, wow, I wouldn't know anything about something like that. Mm -hmm. Imagine. So, a sea of laptops, yeah, look at a that. lot of which are out of my price range. These will all be fine. Look, see, it's, uh, it's only uh, over double your... Okay. Th okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Out of my price range, out of my price range. Nope, too expensive, too expensive, too expensive. Close, but too expensive. Chromebook, too expensive. Whoa, hi there. Oh, this guy. Does that say $299? 300 bucks. Okay, but wait. Oh, it's Ryzen. It's, 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 it's Ryzen, Ryzen 3200. 3200U. Will you be able to play F1 on that? On Ryzen 3? In a Vega Not 3? Well. If I can get 20 frames out of this, I'll be happy. <laughs> oh, okay. You know what? Okay, I'm going to take pity on you. Since you've got such a powerful system here, okay. come with me. I actually saw something earlier. Man, everything looks ah, out of here my we go. What, what's here. This? You need a laptop cooler. This is a setup video. I will graciously okay. provide you this cooler, which with five RGB fans will give you at least half an extra frame per second. I don't think this is RGB. I think this is just G. I don't think this will help me, but it'll definitely okay, make it look okay. different and How cooler. much is that? How much is that? $30? Oh, you also 30 get, bucks. you get the red one. You want oh. red or green? No, get green. You can pretend you have a Razer laptop. <laughs> For the gamers, by gamers. Rise up. Rise up. I mean, I appreciate the help. I don't know why I'm doing this. How heavy is this thing? It's 100 pounds. Oh. Look. Is this your PC? Oh, yes. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait. There's, there's, a, there's a gap? <laughs> so, stock, it comes with a metal side panel. However, metal is so 2011. So instead, I put on the clear side panel to see my RTX 2070 Super, my Ryzen system. It's very impressive. Look at our, look, it's RGB. This, this RGB up front too. Okay, so I'm holding the camera now. Yeah, because I have my good buddy Rich to help me out. Nothing like a pro setup to have pro friends to help you build. <laughs> I am also happy that you are able to buy yet another friend to help you out. Rich, am I paying you to be here right now? No. Look at that. True friendship. This is probably one of the most important parts of the setup, is this is our seat. This is where we will mount not only all three of our monitors, but also the pedals, the wheel. Pretty much everything is built around this setup. I've never built one of these before, so I don't know how uh, this is gonna go. Oh, you know what? What a nice box. Here you go, Ken. Here's your desk. Oh. You can, you can game on this. I'll take what I can get. So we've got, oh, look at that. Look how comfortable. Look at my lumbar support here. I'll just be like chilling like, Oh! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Look, meanwhile, I'm just gonna. How's your setup I'm coming? I'm gonna start my build. I'm just gonna flip this up. This. Are you pretending to build a car right now? Are we seven again? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this is actually not that bad. Like, this is actually kind of cool. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't even need glue or tape. But the real question is, will the back of that box hold up with you leaning against it all day long? I would hope so if it <laughs> held 100 pounds worth of stuff. But, but you're leaning against it. Yeah, I'm not at 100 pounds of force. You weigh more than 100 pounds, my friend. I'm sorry to say. I mean, it's not, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I need, I, need, I need you to tell me that. <laughs> yeah. Where are you going, Ken? So while Austin and Rich are over there building Austin's play seat, my setup is actually pretty much ready. Now all I have to do is assemble my racing wheel, which is really just this charity case Xbox One controller that Austin was gracious enough to lend me, and my racing wheel that conveniently just sits on the Xbox controller. We'll see how this works. What we got? We, I guess, put this 
girdle thing. Then we put this thing on here. The arm lines up with the analog stick, and all I have to do is put the cap on it. Hey, I like that. Look at that, nice steering wheel. So now that this steering wheel's done, I'm gonna go ahead and see how Austin and Rich are doing. And from the sounds of it, they're still heavily in build mode. Hi, hi. Hello. We're doing great, Ken. You know what, we're doing better than ever. As soon as you left, we got a lot of work done. We're almost done with the seat now. This looks almost the same as from when I left it. All right, well, they're still building. I got bored, so I left. And most importantly, we're at Austin's house. So we're gonna do what anyone would do when you're at your friend's house and they're not watching is uh, check the fridge. This is like the saddest version of MTV Cribs. If you thought Austin was living large, apart from his fridge that's very stainless steel, he ain't living that big in his kitchen at least, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. We started 30 minutes ago. What, are you trying to format my computer or something right now? No, I'm just scouting the competition. I'm so close. I'm so close. No, you're fine. The screen's behind. And I'm lined up here. Okay, so I'm just gonna stick a bolt through to hold it. So this is the Thrustmaster TSXW, and at $700, it is certainly not cheap. However, not only is this an incredibly good wheel, but it's also a really solid set of pedals. Oh, what? It's like a real sparkle wheel. It's, it's a real sparkle wheel that looks like real carbon fiber, and that's Alcantara. Holy. Also in the box, we have a nice set of pedals. However, Micro Center and Thrustmaster have the hookup. We have the TLCM pedals. Now this is actually, as far as I know, not even out yet. So they specifically sent this out so we can take a look at it. But these are load cell and magnetic pedals. So this will run you about $200 when it goes on sale. But essentially these are supposed to be some of the best sort of race sim pedals that you can get as they're fully customizable. Ugh. Okay, we need to clear some boxes out of here. Now <laughs> that, that is a set of pedals right here. Do you see the brake pedal right here? Look how much pressure that is. Oh, oh. I'm gonna take this. What do you, stop taking my things. Upgrade. <laughs> there we go. For the displays, we're using three of these Asus VG278s. Now there's a couple reasons why I like this. First of all, it's a 27 inch display, which is about the maximum thing we can fit on this setup. But on top of that, they're 1080p, slightly low resolution, but it doesn't really matter because they're fairly far away and they run at a full 144 hertz with not only FreeSync, but also G-Sync. At like 260 bucks, this I feel like is easily the best call to get us the most immersive experience short of something like VR or a projector. But I much prefer using like real displays. I'm coming for ya. So when you buy this cockpit, it doesn't come with any kind of monitor mounts. Now if you just wanna use a single monitor, you can do that. But we have the triple monitor set up right here. So while yes, the triple monitor stand might be a pretty hefty $150, still $850 less than the Apple display stand and it supports three monitors, so. It's like, that means it costs like $50 per monitor. Yeah. Okay, so our first monitor is set up. Again, everything is pretty loose, so we can adjust it to just the right angle. But dude, this is gonna be sweet. Next step is to get the other monitors mounted. There's gonna be a ton of cables here. So we have monitor display cables, we have monitor power cables, we have the power cable and the turbo for the wheel, the pedals have to have cables run. But from there, we should be pretty close to actually getting a game up and running. There'll be a lot of tweaking and tuning once we have everything mounted. But it's starting to come together. One more. I'm actually. One more. I just did it. Hold on, hold on. I'm not ready. I'm not ready yet. Hold on. You ready? What are you doing? Okay. Hey, one more. Oh sure, I'll do it again. All right. This is good the second time. So, Austin needed some help to install his. 
bezel free kit. Story of my life. So you can see this is what it looks like. Obviously this is not fully aligned, but this is what it looked like before. With the bezel free kit, it's not 100% perfect. I think we may have to do a little bit more tweaking, but you can see, especially when you're kind of sitting roughly in the seat, that actually looks to be pretty good. Woo, look at that, look at that. All right, how do I, what's my button? I don't know which button this is. You can already tell the difference with the oh, bezel free and the Holy balls, that's fast. That's 90 frames per second. Oh my God, that's ridiculous. <laughs> oh, I mean, obviously I need practice on it, but this totally works. Woo! <laughs> yes! I feel good in saying that this is actually going to work, right? I mean, the wheel feels good. I would like to tweak with a little bit more force feedback, but you can see it's pretty accurate. We're getting 80 frames per second or so, which on three monitors seems to be fine. The pedals seem to be pretty much accurate. Oh, all right. You know what? I'm gonna tweak this. We're gonna put the other bezel free kit on, but I think pretty close. We're ready to start. The Broke versus Pro Challenge. I'm very excited. Very excited right now. You're not allowed to turn off the halo, by the way. I'm not gonna turn off the halo. Good. You think I am an amateur here? No assists besides the driving line because braking is hard. All right, so it is five minutes to four. So we've approximately been shooting for about 10 hours or something like that. <laughs> it's not wrong. Um, but the sun is going down, so we're gonna have to hit the lights here. Ooh. There we go. Um, and here it is, my setup. Wow, so impressive. It's great, right? $308 HP Ryzen laptop with some kind of Vega Radeon integrated graphics. I did have to make some slight modifications. I have a door. <laughs> Yours doesn't have a door. I don't need doors. I just jump right in. It's fine. I can also jump right in. Okay. And, okay and, and we're good. We're good. We're good. Oh, I'm sliding. There we go. Cool. Okay. Your we're, door we're opens. Good. We're good. We're good. We're good. You feeling good right now? Yeah. Shut my door on you. I think it's time for qualifying. Sure. So the rules will be very simple. We're going to have, how long do you want to do? Five minutes of, of practice? Sure. Okay, five minutes of practice, one qualifying session, and then a five lap race to determine, is the broke setup really better than the pro setup? That sounds like a bomb. <laughs> All right. Oh, look at this. Let's go, let's do it. What kind of frame rate are you getting? Oh, I'm getting 32 frames. Oh, I'm getting, uh, 80. Oh, that's cool. 50, oh, man. 50 frames. I looked up and blew the corner. <laughs> yeah, that's why that's why I'm trying not to look up. If I'm real though, this wheel not doing much for me. Really? So the 3D printed controller wheel thing is giving me more precise control, but I'm still only using one thumb to steer because my shift buttons are X and A, which yeah. is what I'm most used to on a controller. And I don't feel comfortable switching to shoulder buttons right now to uh, to change my gears. So with the way this is configured, I might actually take my wheel off and just straight up play with the controller. I'll definitely feel way more at home, which is kind of what I need right now, considering I, <laughs> I'm kind of at a disadvantage. I'm gonna say the best part of this is definitely the wheel. Like I get so much force feedback here. It really kind of tells me where the car's trying to go. You know, like where it's like really fighting me. These pedals are also really nice. I feel like I want to spend more time with them and kind of actually figure out exactly the right sort of level. Like I feel like the brake pedal could be a little bit firmer with one of the other springs. So with our practice laps done and neither of us being a clear winner, the next step is to qualify. So I think we only get, do we only get one lap for this? I believe so. All right, here we go. Here we go. Ooh, the sun's in my face with these giant displays. <laughs> Luckily I don't have that brightness, so I can't really tell. <laughs> I'm not too confident in my qualifying just because I've missed a few beats, but we'll see. Ooh, 140.6. Well, I mean, obviously I beat you. You haven't even finished yet. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. I beat you by 3.4 seconds on that lap. Wow. All right. So it all comes down to this. Should you spend $200 and build your setup in a box? Or should you get the, well, $300 or whatever yours was. Or should you get the ultimate racing <laughs> pro setup and see what the real pros do? You know, All pros right. like me. This is for the 1%. No, this is, for, <laughs> this is for the 99%. I'm so used to being the 1%. <laughs> oh, we're gonna have to, oh. Wait, I have to clutch? actually clutch, really? Oh, go. Oh, you're right there! 
With my giant monitors, I can see you. Oh, okay, you know what? You can have that. That's fine. I'm not going to get in the way. <laughs> I started better than Austin. <laughs> I didn't realize we were ready to go. Ah, you're so, why are you so wide? Oh! Dive ball. Almost got gotcha. you. Whoa! No! 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 <laughs> All I have to do is drive carefully now. This is great. Wow, I'm like really ahead. Yeah, I spun like in a terrible spot and I had to put it in reverse to get back going. <laughs> oh. Turn a little too late there, but that's okay. I have a lot of room for error now. <laughs> Final lap. All right, it comes down to this. Keep going, keep the push, keep the push, keep the push. I need you to make a mistake. I don't think I'm gonna catch you unless you make a mistake. Oh, no, no, I was fun. I was. Oh, go on the street! Go on the street! <laughs> he wants to school again! <laughs> I saw you! Oh! Yeah, that's it! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it feels great. It feels really good. Oh man. I beat the rich. Dude, my fastest lap was 2.2 seconds faster. Than yeah, that. but I was a more composed driver, which is all that matters. <sighs> Thank you very much for watching this episode of Broke vs. Pro. If you would like to check out any of the stuff we talked about in this video, the links will be in the description. Again, huge shout out to Micro Center for sponsoring my setup and I guess part of yours. Until next time, Ken, any parting cards? <laughs> I won. <laughs> You won without your dignity, at least. I won. <laughs> <laughs> that was really good.